Well, the, uh, it was almost 20 years ago that uh, uh, I found my way to the World Wide Web. And as a computer programmer, it was a pretty delightful place. At that time, it was used to kind of pass around research papers. And a few forward-looking companies were uh, uh, making, uh, bro distributing brochures. And, and that uh, uh, allowed us to, uh, well, what I did is I went and tried to think about how I could support a community in that environment. And, in, and as a consequence of that, ended up stumbling across something that turned out to be big. And that was thinking anew about how we might make a link. That link is a link that has a lot of respect for people because it opens doors instead of putting up walls. Now, the, uh, at the edge of the internet, when you get to the end, you normally get an error message. It's called a 404. And what I did is I said, well, when you get to the end of a wiki, you get to a page that says, well, you must be interested. Tell us more. And that change in the meaning of a link that goes off the edge has, uh, at its heart, a profound uh, difference in opinion of our readers. It says our readers are valuable to us, and what they know, it turns them into authors. Now, uh, turns out that this is pretty well understood right now. And it's also understood that when you get authors together, uh, in a common space that lots of different things happen. Sometimes it's fabulous. In Wikipedia, it's fabulous, but it's not without friction. Now, uh, what I've been doing, I've been lucky enough for not the last nine months to be on a project where I want to share data among a variety of people with a lot of different interests, and I want that data which is about scarce resources, about living in a world where uh, it's harder to find the things you're used to, but I believe that there's other things that we can do, and we need to find those ways. So, so those are the choices in front of us, and this idea that we'll have a, a world where uh, we can say there is a neutral point of view, well, it's, it's just not true anymore. So not when you look forward. So uh, what I'm asking for here is simply uh, to create something that feels like wiki, but that supports a chorus of voices. You know, not, not necessarily in unison, but in harmony, so that we can find this path forward. Now, uh, I set out to solve this problem, and along the way, I found myself changing the meaning of a link again. And that change is a little hard to understand. First of all, most people don't pay attention to links, but it changed it in a way that delights me. And I think there'll be a day where it delights all of us. Now, now the important point was that it wasn't about getting through the wall and into a common place. It was about making each wall be part of a whole, making a bunch of things into a part of a whole without destroying their identity. Now, once you do that for two, you can add a third or a fourth. And these are all points of view. These are perspectives. Now, what holds this together is I say, let's just follow the rules that says, if I like something on your wall, I take it and call it my own. You like it, what I do, you take it back. We pass stuff around, but the point of view is what's on my side of the wall or your side of the wall, and it's the technology, the way I've changed linking, that causes all these to appear as a whole. Now, I want to just show you a little bit of a screencast of this in action. This is, is uh, early software. Uh, I have uh, two sides of one conversation. And if you look up in the corner, you'll see these little flags on every page. And the bluish one is the original. 
And the gold one is a new idea placed in the midst of other pages. So here it is. This is, uh, this is how it looks. It, it starts out, I made the pages narrow, so it's easy to put pages side by side. If I come over here and click on a link, the new page comes up and I don't lose the context of the other. If I start clicking through these pages, I can look. This is actually a document from Ecotrust here in Portland that talks about how it is we might run our ecosystem such that we can have reliably prosperity. This is good stuff, but now the hypothesis here is that with my input, we can make it even better. So let's take, now this, now I switch point of views here. It looks the same, but that's because I haven't gotten to my part yet. But I'm gonna click on that same link that says capital, and I find here's the page I wrote. Notice the different flag. It's now gold, and I read now, and I click a link on my page, it finds theirs. So I've inserted my page in the middle of their site. This is different. Oh, and here's the paragraph that I added. See me wiggle that around? This is, this is uh, the, you know, there have been plenty of sites that will let you kind of put notes on some other website. But a note is not the same as another page. Here I am actually participating as an equal. And that, that uh, let's say equal in responsibility, maybe not equal in reputation, but equal in responsibility that I can earn my reputation not from starting by scratch, but by building on what is already out there, given freely, in this case by Ecotrust, to create an umbrella in which I might uh, offer my contributions. Now, uh, of course, one thing that makes this possible is this notion of a Creative Commons license. It says attribution, I manage that. I just you copy things back and forth, I trace it back. That's kind of what makes it all work, is I can look at that attribution and go find the original sources. Now, again, the whole point here, the philosophy that drives me forward, is this notion that we can all be unique, but we can still make wise choices together. That notion of looking forward, seeing what's out there, grounding that in data that is known to be true, but interpreting that data in a wide variety of number of ways, and then finding a way forward for us as a civilization. So now, stepping out a little farther, I see what we're doing here is we're allowing to emerge, you know, I love computers, emerge within the computer, but more importantly in our own minds, allowing to emerge a map of this new territory and to my mind, it looks like this. It's thousands of sites all kind of mixing together this way, allowing people to go around and take any point of view, and that, that ability to see, grounded in data, a lot of different ways that we could live is going to be the lighthouse that guides us going forward. Thank you very much.